You like it? I'm a bad B. They stay looking, but these brothers can't have me. They call me Lonnie Good Good, but I'm a bad B. Running up the bands, broke bitches can't catch me. They call me Lonnie Good Good, but I'm naughty. Big front, big back. So I look cozy. So I know I haven't been the most consistent person. I know I haven't dropped content as much as I should, but I have been doing my documentary. Make sure you watch it, it's gonna be epic. It's so good. I just need to film one more scene. Um, in a tattoo spot and yeah then get your tissues ready get your popcorn ready it's gonna be juicy you're gonna cry but yeah guys anyway let's go to Essex vlogging Kim vlogging Kim hey guys I am just walking in Tesco's um trying to find that's really cute. What? The birthday house? Yeah, trying to find stuff for Susie's birthday. It goes. Are you sure? I don't know. So, there's some cute stuff. So, as you can see, guys, this is the Tesco. What about that? Celebrate for her cake? This is the section. This is really cute. This goes with our theme. Why am I holding your phone, you? Because you are a. You are my assistant. I'm. Where are you going? Because we need to buy some stuff. And can you go get a? We need a basket, I think. Yo. Hey. Listen. I got one bay bay for the days out, one for the nights out, one for the lights out. I got one I can tell come later, and I got one I can tell come right now. Got, got a bay that drops off cash. Got a bay that direct debits in a flash. Put 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 some gal in the trash. Her smoke is. It's not good. What, is it confusing? My sister's just making a circular base. Oh, it's bended! Oh my god, it's huge! Yeah, but I don't know how it's Yeah, but it is, because look at the base. It's gone from left to right. That is huge, guys. Yeah, but I don't think it's actually going to be this big. Really? No. But then that's the base. That's a huge circle. That's a huge circle? Yeah, but I'm saying I don't know if I've done it right. Yeah, maybe take a few out because Jesus, how many pieces do you have? But yeah, she's just making. <laughs> excuse me, she's making the circle. I'm gonna blow some balloons up, and those are the numbers. You can see them on the floor. They're gonna become numbers in a bit. Over and out. So in my family, like we love doing surprises for each other on each other's birthdays and any other special occasion. We're a very mushy family. Um, me and my sister, we like. We're just like really creative people. We're a creative family in general. And we're always doing little like, you know, little installations for each other on each other's birthdays. We usually do them very small scale. So this is the biggest that we've ever done. But I just thought I would bring you on the on like the journey with me this time. Because usually I feel like I, you know, I am keep, keep you guys in the loop about boys and stuff like that. And my dating, but I don't keep you in the loop with like my personal life with my family. And yeah, so... I'm really close to my sisters. This is the middle sister, the one I have a mortgage with. And um, she's the one that runs the business. Guys, please follow my sister's business and support her. Um, even if you don't need any decorations, you know, I would love her to hit, hit 100K. But yeah, so this is like gift. This is like one of her gifts. I think, oh yeah, these are the trainers. Um, Disney, Disney princess, of course. And then there's another So gift. guys, I am heading home at freaking two in the morning. Finally, um, tomorrow is my sister's birthday. And we're gonna surprise her, so excited to surprise her. <sighs> Hope she likes her decorations and everything, and we're gonna go out for a meal and all that good stuff. Hope she likes her gifts. So yeah, guys, we're gonna drive home and, mm -hmm, because I think we have to be at home because the cake's being delivered to to um the other location so we have to be there so we're gonna drive there and yeah see you guys tomorrow period Mwah. 24 hours later hi guys so the day has arrived to surprise my sister oh my god so can you see me 
So we're, I'm in Essex and um, we're just going Tesco quickly to get a few bits. Um, God, why is it blurry? Yeah, we're going Tesco to get a few bits, stuff like, so like milk, um, some juice, some Coke, like Coca-Cola. <laughs> yeah, so just going in Tesco to get a few bits and then my sister's gonna run in Primark to get matching pajamas so we can like, we can match it all night long, do you know what I mean, and look cute together. But yeah, let's go in Tesco and buy some drinks and stuff and some water. Let's go! Okay, so we're leaving Tesco. She's a 60p. Don't insult her. Anyway, we're leaving Tesco's. Leaving Tesco's. You lot are so annoying. So annoying. So, going to the car. This us see. You have to look at it proper, but this is the birthday girl! <gasps> the birthday girl! <laughs> the birthday girl! Everyone, tell, tell Susie in the comment section that she's a lengting! Lengting! She's a... <laughs> tell Susie she's a lengting, I wish her happy birthday! <gasps> Woo! Susie is leng! <laughs> Susie! Tell her, come and say it! Susie is leng! Stop being a negative Nancy! Oh, dumbass bitches! They're so negative, bro! Guys, second stop Primark in so, a bit. So I went upstairs first by myself. I wanted to put some balloons like in the ceiling. I just love it when balloons are in the ceiling and then like these the like dangly bits, you know, like the, the dangly bits. I love that. So I wanted to do that really quickly before Susie came up. And obviously I had to also light the cake. So this is me rushing, rushing, um, super fast trying to get all of that done. I ended up making some non-alcoholic drinks. Um, my sister said that she didn't want alcohol, but then she ends up drinking alcohol later in the day when we go to the restaurant. So what was all that about? What was all that about? Seriously. But yeah, this is Susie putting on her hat. It's cute, right? I love it. <laughs> so this is her putting on her hat and let's go. Let's surprise her. Let's surprise her. Let's celebrate her birthday in style. So Susie's coming out. Susie! She's going into the restaurant with this hat. Yeah, that's wild. Um, do you know who that's wild? 
Do you think they'll kick this one out because she's underage because she's 11 years old? What do you think? Huh? It's her birthday, she can do what she wants. Okay, okay, girl. Someone's feeling it. Someone's feeling it. Someone's feeling it. He had to get a drink. He was tipsy. He said, Michelle said, said that it's everyone's got their drink. How pretty is my drink? And if you're going to get to use your drink, okay? So how pretty is my drink? We're just in Turkish, a local Turkish. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can you drink yourself? Yeah. But yeah, how pretty is my drink? I'm only having one because of alcohol at home. We're gonna have a movie night, guys. We're gonna have a movie night. It's gonna be lit. Um. Yeah. We're gonna have cake and brownies and watch movies, and it's gonna be lit. She's having a gin, and then Charlotte's having a strawberry dart. Yeah. So we're back from the restaurant. It was good. <sighs> so yeah, Susie went out looking like this. With this hat. No, it's cute. wanted to say thank you for watching my surprise video with my sisters and my vlog um the reason i'm all dolled up and i'm doing all of this and i'm wearing this sparkly top is because i just finished filming a try and haul that i'm gonna also drop this week um it's a house of cv try and haul um it's just like showing like my favorite pieces from this year because i never like talk about um i just i just they just sit in my cupboard upstairs and I never show people like you know the pieces that I love the most and stuff and I know because it's Christmas a lot of people are trying to get like really cute looks people are you know doing dirty December and things like that and I feel like I could help because I've got a couple pieces so um, make sure you tune into that but guys yeah thank you I hope you enjoyed seeing me and my sister's dynamic I'm really close to my sisters I love them to bits and um yeah I hope you enjoyed it really quickly guys um I don't know if you I, I'm gonna like explain something um so me and my sister's like we're kind of like big kids so we really love Disney we just love kitty stuff as you can see the balloon colors we just we're just like big kids so yes my sister's 27 I know she looks a bit younger but she's 20 she's just turned 27 and we love Disney princesses so I don't know if you know but grown-ups there's loads of grown-ups this might be a shock to you but there's loads of grown-ups who collect um like barbies or like like disney princess dolls and then they see they, okay so if you're a barbie collector you can collect dolls called barbie barbie signature and barbie signature big i know some of you guys are going to find this weird but if i show you pictures of some of these barbie signature dolls or put some clips on here you will see they are stunning the same way you watch the met gala and you watch it for the fashion you watch you watch your favorite um celebrities walk the red carpet for the fashion is the same way people can be into like barbies like especially signature barbies for the fashion like you have to understand something like not everyone watches like the met gala or fashion stuff for the celebrities a lot of us watch it for the fashion people care about fashion and i don't know like you know it's just with barbie they they've taken that concept and they've made these expensive dolls like there's this one doll that i really want she was wearing the same jacket as um rihanna wore on the met gala uh, but the doll's like 300 pounds no one's got time for that so outside of these barbie dolls they also have designer dolls in um disney called um disney designer dolls and they're stunning they're beautiful i really want the cinderella one 
but like I googled it on eBay and it was like £300 and I was just like I'm gonna have to think about it because I need a new wig and I need a new designer bag. I haven't had designer bags the whole pandemic. And I'm um, not that big designer bags are £300. I know they're way more, but the point is that's taking out of my, you know, like my little piggy bag for that. Oh my god, like, but the point is, it's one of these things that, um, you know, with these dolls, because of the price, it's one of these things that I wouldn't buy for myself, I don't think, but I want it really. I want to put it in my, like, in my room or in, like, in my closet. Like, my dream is to have a walk-in closet and have a few, um, collectible, um, designer dolls in the corner. But it's just like, oh my god, am I going to spend this money? Because in England, they can, they are about £110. So, I knew my sister really wanted one. I tricked her and I made us watch, like, some videos and like we like i put on the tv we were watching some videos of other collectors and, and their collections and um she told me she what the ones she liked and then i ended up getting it for her i really like the cinderella i think the cinderella one's my favorite cinderella and snow white everyone's my favorite disney princess but those two in terms of dolls are the most beautiful to me so yeah i ended up getting her that but like i said guys that's why she got emotional because it is like it's an expensive doll it's an expensive doll and it's something like it's something beautiful that she can cherish forever and it might sound weird to you guys but it's like a it's like a piece of art in in our eyes you know what i mean we think um dolls are beautiful and we love disney princesses we absolutely do why do you have to grow up you don't have to don't let anyone tell you have to grow up because you don't you don't we absolutely love them so she is so happy she's literally this is the next day that i'm making this video and she hasn't even like opened the flaps to look inside it because she wants to do an unboxing that freaks me the fuck out yeah guys so just so you don't think that we're weird that is why we i got her the doll it is a collectible doll and um let me know in the comments if this is something like you already know about and if you would spend your money on like a barbie signature doll or like a um disney um designer doll let me know but yeah guys we also got some trainers and i've also got her some clothes from um like i got her just a couple pieces like from like you know like plt and stuff like that and sheen because she's um going to africa to live with my mom for a bit and i just feel like she needs a few pieces so even though that's cute i just thought like it was it then it's the clothes are just, you know, they're clothes. They're not special. They're just, you know, they're just garments, you know, things you can wear. So, yeah, um, and I think the package of the clothes has arrived and I'm going to give it to her on Monday. I got a message today, but yeah, I just, um, anyway, I just hope you enjoyed seeing how me and my sister's dynamic is. I hope you enjoyed this video. And guys, make sure you look out for my documentary about tattoos. It's going to be epic. You better support the thing. It's going to be it's going to be toxic. It's all going to be about toxic relationships. It's going to be about controlling relationships, narcissists. Make sure you watch it in the video. Um, one of the girls literally got the guy tattooed on her body, literally, genuinely, um, four times. Okay? So you guys need to watch that video. Watch that video. Okay? So anyway, guys, I love you, but I'm going to leave you now. Period. Period. Love y'all. Bye. They call me Lonnie Good Good, but I'm a bad bee. They stay looking, but these brothers can't have me.